Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about specific heat capacity. Okay, so what is specific heat capacity? Well, uh, the specific heat capacity of a substance is the quantity of heat energy transferred when the temperature of one kilogram of substance changes by one degree uh, or by one Kelvin. Now, one Kelvin and one degree, they are, uh, or the degrees in Kelvins, they are different scales. But an increase in one degree or an increase in one Kelvin is an increase in the same amount of temperature. Okay, and the unit of specific heat capacity is the joule per kilogram per degree or the joule per kilogram per Kelvin. Same thing. Okay, so calculating specific heat capacity. Well, this is the equation that you're meant to know and it's on your IGCSE syllabus. Well, to start off with, we've got this delta Q. Delta Q means a change in energy and uh, this is going to be a change in heat energy and that's going to be measured in joules. We've got M for the mass of your substance, which is measured in kilograms. We've got the specific heat capacity, which is kilograms, uh, sorry, which is joules per kilogram per degree. And finally, we've got a change in temperature. Remember, a change in temperature is the final temperature minus the initial temperature. Okay, so let's have a quick look at an example here. So I've got a 250 gram pipe uh, made out of copper and it's heated from uh, 10 degrees to 31 degrees. What's the energy needed to heat the pipe? And then the specific heat capacity of copper, we're told, is 390 joules per kilogram per degree. Okay, so we're going to use our delta Q equals mc delta T uh, equation. Firstly, let's think about what's the change in temperature. Well, we're going from, th sorry, we were going from 10 degrees to 31. So when you work out a change, you do the final condition minus the initial condition. So in this case, it's 31 minus 10, which is going to give you 21 degrees. Okay, so that's our change in temperature. So let's look at the rest of our equation. Well, the mass, well, mass, it's meant to be in kilograms, but our value has been given in grams. So 250 grams of copper, well, we need to divide that by 1,000 and we get 0 0.25. The specific heat capacity has been given as 390, and we just worked out that our change in temperature is 21. Now we put that all together in our equation, hit uh, equals on our calculator, and we get a value of an energy of 2,000 and 47.5 joules. Now, as of you, uh, my readings are to uh, two significant figures. I'm allowed two or three significant figures. So therefore my value is given as 2050. Okay guys, I hope that's been useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.